Hello everyone this is Saad Ahmed and today we are going to learn how to create illustrations for your infographic projects in Adobe Illustrator but not in directly in Adobe Illustrator but with the assistance of Midjourney AI okay so let's quickly jump on to the tutorial as you can see that the infographic is a type of information that is illustrated with the help of graphics and that is why it is known as infographics so i have just created a text based infographics now and which looks very much dry because there are some text that needs to be illustrated with the help of graphics so what we are going to do in this video we are going to create graphics in midjourney ai and then we will see multiple methods to create vector form in adobe illustrator okay so to start with we can see that our main heading is job interview question and how to handle them so i believe that there should be a graphic of interviewer and interviewee on the header image that is taking interview so let's start creating the graphics for that so i am in mid journey ai so what i am going to do i am going to write flat illustration of interviewer and interviewee sitting in front of each other and we are going to use limited colors okay and the aspect ratio should be 16 is to 9 and the version of we are going to apply is 5.2 let's see what it gives us so we can see that it has created wonderful illustrations that can be used for the infographics the purpose of using this limited colors in this scenario is that we are going to use the image trace option of adobe illustrator and it works fine with the limited colors or fewer colors we will see the second method as well so let's just use this illustrations we just have a skill this third illustration and here the illustration has been scaled up we can simply copy this one and can bring in adobe illustrator and from here just we have to go to window image trace select the image from here select the color and click trace so here we can adjust the colors options we can use the limited colors we can use the maximum colors we can adjust the path we can adjust the corners we can reduce or increase the noise in the illustration so we can see that by using the image trace option in adobe illustrator we have transformed the png image or jpg image that was created in mid journey ai into editable vector format once you are satisfied with this just click expand and ungroup all the shapes once you have ungrouped the shapes you will be able to change the color of each and every object in adobe illustrator you can simply remove the background anything you can do with this effect okay but this as i said that this option will only work if you have limited colors in your illustrations okay so that that was the option for this one one more thing that you must be wondering that why should we use mid journey ai that will take an additional cost and an additional effort why won't we why can't we just download the vector graphics from any stock website and can use in the infographics so the answer for that is you can surely do this but you have to modify the illustrations as per your branding colors of the company of the logo and it is going to take a bit of time and effort what mid journey gives us edge we can directly create the illustrations of our branding colors for example we have green blue and pink colors in the our infographics and we can directly create illustration of the same colors it means that you can tailor your graphics or illustration for your infographics so let's write flat illustration of interviewer in pink dress and interviewee in green dress and we can write sitting in front of each other isolated on white background it means that we need white background at the back and once again aspect ratio 16 is to 9 and the mid journey 5.2 so let's create illustration and now this time we will you we will see the second method to create vector graphics from the png or jpg image okay now you must have got the answer what is the difference of creating illustrations in mid journey ai or download from the stock website and then used in your infographics you can see that our branding colors were green and pink and it has created the illustration of the same color so we don't need to modify it much as per our branding colors so let's take a look at the second method of creating vector uh, so we are going to take this second infographics second illustrations i have just scaled up the second version okay so we are going to create the vector version of this one 
so simply copy this image there is a website called vectorizer.ai just simply press ctrl v and done you will be able to create the from the png into the vector format as you can see that you can scale it as much as you can and it will not get pixelated so this is the wonderful method of creating vector graphics within the very minimum effort taken and you can just simply download it just select eps form here and click download so as you can see that within a matter of minutes we have created illustration and that will work very much fine for our infographics the same procedure select the illustration ungroup it and just delete the background and just copy this one and you can bring it in here and you can place it as per your convenience okay so you can see that we have created a wonderful illustration within the minimum effort and it has it is giving a very good look for our infographics so i believe that this tutorial must be very much handy for your designing projects and let's see you people in the next video thanks for watching